how would you like to learn how to develop a maintenance-free natural ecosystem in a glass box, also known as an aquarium? Join me as we examine basic principles and take a look at my 46-gallon aquarium ecosystem. To date, my channel has been focused almost exclusively on aquarium systems with high fish populations requiring significant quantities of food to survive. To deal with this and in separate videos, I have shared with you how I reduce aquarium maintenance and improve water quality with algae scrubbers, aquaponic grow beds, pothos growing out of a sump, and lastly, other biological processes that occur within a sump. Now, I am switching from predator haps to small natural aquariums. I'm going to focus on the conditions necessary within that aquarium under which you can achieve a truly natural environment, eliminate water changes, achieve close to zero maintenance, and even feed your fish with what grows and reproduces in your aquarium. Follow me as I take you on a tour of my 46 gallon natural ecosystem aquarium. This is the aquarium. It's a 46 gallon corner tank and is populated with hair algae, submerged plants, shrimp gumpy, small tetras, and a maturing and soon to be breeding colony of dwarf Cynodonus poli catfish. Yes, I am encouraging the growth of hair algae. It is the foundation of the food chain in this system. The aquarium has zero nitrates and I only feed the aquarium two times a week. In fact, the only maintenance is to cut back the hair algae once a month to give the back of the aquarium its look of an underwater grass wall. The principles of achieving a zero water change natural biosystem that I have employed in this aquarium include using cherry shrimp that graze on the algae to consume the algae, multiply there and in turn provide food to the fish in the aquarium. I have an energy source which, which in this case is a light which substitutes for the sun. I have a very high plant and algae biomass relative to the number of aquarium fish so that the algae can consume and process any waste from the fish inhabitants. Now, dropping down to the lower levels of this ecosystem, let's discuss some additional principles of the zero maintenance system. You see very low fish numbers and they're small in size. There's a very high plant and algae ratio to aquarium fish for the organisms to consume and process any waste from the fishes. There's stability in the system. I do no water changes. I let what's in the tank flourish without adding any additional fish and creatures like the shrimp once the ecosystem is flourishing. Let me take you on a further journey through this natural system. Why well, I like it. It's very captivating for me, and it's amazing how much is going on in such a small space. It takes very little space and energy in, in, my, in my office. The natural underwater beauty of the plants, the shrimp, fish, and algae coexisting and depending on each other is something that I love. And of course, not having to do water changes. One thing you're probably asking is, uh, where are the dwarf Cynodonus poli catfish? Well, inside the choya wood, which is uh, hollow, I've got a hopefully soon to be breeding colony, and I've got a total of 12 of them in this aquarium. I'll obviously have to remove some of them as they grain and uh, increase in size and numbers. 
Thank you, YouTube and Facebook followers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe, rate, and comment. Thank you very much.